What's up everybody and welcome back to SNE Ant's YouTube channel. It's been a long couple months since I've had a conversation with everyone, so hopefully you had a great holidays, um, great first of the year. I know it's been quite a few months since I've talked. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, in this video we're going to be showing you how to rehome or rehouse a queen ant that you may have caught or that you may are... Um, given her a bigger house than she needs and she's not doing well. Um, for this particular video, uh, if many of you returning subscribers have watched, uh, I had two Campanonis pensilvanicus colonies. One that's doing great and you will have already seen or will be seeing a video soon about them. Then I also have a second Campanonis pensilvanicus colony or uh, should you say one queen um, that I have put into a discus in the last video. Now, she has not been doing great. Uh, she did have two nanitics. Uh, she quickly devoured them after they were uh, emerged. So in this video, we're going to be going over how to rehome or rehouse any kind of queens, or if you've just caught a new queen, uh, same premise. I want to give her a smaller space. Hopefully she's not stressed out as much, um, and maybe it will help her lay more and get her colony going quicker. She did do well over diapause, um, so she's alive, and that's the biggest thing. Now we need to make sure that she does good this season, or this year in 2023, moving into 2024, so we can get her colony going as we do the first colony we have. So, all you'll need here is essentially two items. Uh, this third one is actually just an extra. So you'll need cotton, test tube, which this is just a standard glass test tube. This is not plastic. Um, I like the diameter. It's actually a little bit bigger than a normal um, plastic test tube, but the cotton can actually easily fit into these without having to tear them or anything like that. So glass test tube. Um, this is actually from Tar Heels Ants. It's their insert. Um, it's got a mesh back screen. Um, got a little bit of a textured bottom for the queens to start the colonies in, and it's weighted on the bottom. So once you put it in to the test tube, and it will sit, it will keep the test tube upright. So you don't want to, you know, rolling around. It actually keeps it upright, it's weighted. So uh, that's an extra, you don't necessarily need that, but it's an, a good extra if you can get one. Um, then you'll just need some bottled water, which is what I use to put in the test tubes. Make sure it's not any microbes or anything, bacteria in the water, uh, whether you get it from tap or outside, you don't want to use that because it will mold very quickly and you, we don't want to be changing these test tubes excuse me, these test tubes often. Um, you want to fill it, set it, and let her do her thing and leave her alone as much as possible. So first things first, um, I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit. And you may see the ants in the background in their new uh, formicarium, or excuse me, their outworld. Um, what you want to do is you want to fill this test tube. Um, you want to leave room, especially if you're using one of these. Now, if you're not using one of these, it's not a big deal. But you want to leave enough room for you to get your insert in, have enough room to put a cotton ball in the front and then fill the back half with water. Um, and like I said, this is a mesh uh, piece on the back side of this insert, so it will um, let the queen get water whenever she needs it. But So we're looking for water about right here. Um, and of course, you'll have cotton right here too. So you'll need about yay much water, cotton, insert cotton. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you if you don't do this right, it's not a big deal. Um, you can always pull it out, pull the cotton out, and then redo it. Um, so don't freak out if you don't do it right the first time. You know, I, I may have actually put a little bit too much water in there, but the cotton should soak up some of it. So we're going to get one of these whole cotton balls, and we're going to push it in. Now, I did not get um, a skew, a skewer, so you can buy these at the store. Um, you don't need this, but it actually helps a lot to kind of push down all the cotton. And you see how the water's angled? It helps get all of the air bubbles out. So you just want to slide it in a little bit angled, and it should not air bubble up as, as much as normal. But as you can see, there is a little bit of an air pocket there, which you really don't want. But it's okay. Not a big deal. So cotton in first water in the back then we do insert 
I mean, you want to push this insert just gently enough and you'll see the water come out of the front of the mesh just like that. Now it's a little soaking, it's a little wet and what you can do is you can just take it and get a piece of paper, another piece of cotton, tip it up and get all that extra water out. Um, now this insert will slide a little bit so just be careful not to let it slide out and hit the, hit, hit the table or anything you're working on. Okay, so once that's like this, now what we want to do is get the queen inside of this. Now, depending on your queen's temperament, I would recommend to do this very carefully. Um, if she is angry, like mine will be, because she is a very angry girl, um, I would use a skewer and not the pointy end. We want to use the flat end to kind of guide her in here. Or if you have some featherweight forceps, um, you, if you were good enough, you can gently maneuver her into the test tube. I do not recommend this because you can easily squeeze too hard and kill her. We do not want to do that, especially if you are a new innkeeper and you did not go catch her and you bought her. Um, you do not want to be wasting money killing your queen ants. So I'm going to reposition the camera once again, and I'm going to move her into frame. So this is her. Um, as you can see, very panicky. Um, I put her into this discus, hoping it would help jumpstart her, having many room. But this is a bad idea. Don't do this. Um, you learn from your mistakes, and this is one mistake I have learned from. Um, I definitely don't like the test tube setups, but I'm seeing more and more that this is better for queens because they are more comfortable and they are in less space uh, to feel threatened. If they feel threatened, they will not lay eggs or they will eat the eggs they already have and that's not uh, productive for what we want to, to be as ant keepers. So um, first things first, we need to get her out, move her in. Now she does have one uh, little larva in here and I don't know if I can get, a, get it in frame because of this condensation, but she does have one little larva in here underneath of her and I will show it in just a second but we want to worry about that second the main thing is to get her inside and to get her safe and secure so but you get your cotton ball prepped because once she's in the tube we need to plug the tube okay and we want to make sure that we have plenty enough room for the cotton to go in and again if you have a little extra liquid in it, it's not going to hurt her. We don't want to drown her, but with the substrate inside of this tube, she should be fine. And there's a little bit of water on the bottom, but again, it's keeping her off the slick walls and uh, any war like she can't flip over and drown. So we're going to put the prep cotton off to the side, get the test tube ready, and I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Um, I'm going to give you more of an angular view of this uh, because I need both of my hands to do this. So I don't want to hurt her. So we're going to twist this top. It's magnetic. Now she is going to freak out. So again, you want to be very, very careful and very precise in what you're doing. So we have to maneuver this to where we want her to go into the tube, but not anywhere else. Um, you can also get another test tube to kind of cover her up or a little cup to, to place on top of her um, and then put her in. I've seen some uh, ant handlers just handle these queens and just put them right in. Um, I don't necessarily like handling my queens very much um, because they can bite and they are very large. These are carpenter ants or again, Campanatus pensilvinicus and their bite definitely does not feel well. So I think, I don't know if she's got the cotton in her mouth or not, but um, how are we gonna do this? Uh, if I need to fast forward through this to kind of give you um, a, a see-through, let me put it like that so you can see what goes on. I'm, I might, um, because again, I might not talk. I'm gonna concentrate just a little bit on how to do this without her bolting and going somewhere she doesn't need to go. Now I have maneuvered her in the cup. Now 
be careful with these ants. They are very, very sensitive. These are bigger ants, but that doesn't mean you can't be careful, okay? So now that she's in the cup and she can't run out, I'm going to maneuver her on the stick. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go, go in. And we're in. So now we want to kind of block her. There we go. See? Take your time. I don't know what's on her face. It looks like she ran into something, but she's going to clean her face in a second, which it looks like she's doing. So now we don't want to squish her. We just want to just gently and slowly push this back. Here we go, and kind of push her down into the tube. Just like that. So now she's in. She can sit there. She can do whatever she wants. It's plugged. Now we go on to the second part. So I'm going to put her down. Sorry, it took so long for that. But again, we're not in a rush here. We want to take our time and get her in. We're going to leave her there. And now we want to get whatever brood she has in this there. So if you can see, she has a little bit of brood right here. Now again, I am not... I'm on the edge of this, so I'm not push, pushing down. But it's right here. So what we're going to do is we need to get that larva, very baby larva, inside of this tube without her freaking out or anything like that. So what you want to do, the easiest way i found to do this is wet. Get your skewer like this and wet the end of this. Um, they, larvae are very, they like to moisture and they stick to anything wet. Um... You want to be very gentle here because you can easily squish them or damage them. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. Use a cotton swab and carefully pick it up and put it in there. Now, I'm going to go wet this real quick. So now the tip of this skewer is wet. I know it doesn't look like it, but what we can do is, again, I'm going to concentrate here. So if you don't get a great shot, I am sorry. But we're going to gently get this little baby on. Remember, I'm rolling the stick in my hand to get this to stick to the tip. There we go. So now, as you can see, it is on the tip of the stick, skewer, whatever you want to call it. Now we need to get it inside of her tube without her coming out. So this is where it becomes very, very tricky. So again, I'm not going to focus on the best possible shot here. I'm going to just gently take off the top of this cotton, put the larva on the very end, just like that. And I know you can't see it because of the gravel, but she will find it. It's right there at the top of her legs. Now, I want her to pick it up before I push this cotton swab any further in. I don't want her to squish it. I don't want her to freak out. But I can gently push her back just a little bit. And now she should find it shortly. Now, if you can see, I know you can't because of the reflection, but it's right there. Right at the very tippy point of that uh, skewer. It looks like a little grain of rice right here. So, now that she's inside, hopefully she finds her babies. I mean, it might take her a minute, but we definitely want her to find it. Again, I might speed through this part um, because I just want her to find the little baby larva and move it to the back. But she's cleaning her face right now. Like I said, I'm sorry for these terrible, terrible cameras. And now she is cleaning herself. I know the glare, you can't see it, but she's cleaning her face off. From whatever she ran into. I have no idea what she ran into. Oh, I do. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I don't know what you, if you saw that, and you probably didn't, but I rotated the cotton in a manner, come on, focus up, that you can see the larva, the, the cotton actually caught onto the larva, and I rotated the cotton around, so the larva is up in the air, just stuck to the side of the cotton. Now, she will definitely find that eventually, um, and get it off, and then take it down to where she wants it. So, that's how you do that. Um, if you have a new queen that is generally I know that didn't go quite as smooth as it may look on camera but either way it was a success because she's out of her old home she's in her new home we can put her away um, she's got plenty of water she's got plenty of substrate to kind of just hang out on um, she will be in a lot better and she will feel a lot more secure in this little tiny uh, you want to imitate a chamber as much as you can so I know this was a longer video I'm going to speed up parts of it just for the sake of time and the sake of your time um, uh, what's cool about these inserts is you can take this cotton off and put food right at the tip and she will find it and eat it if she likes um, typically again you do not want to disturb a queen um, in her founding stages uh, but this one has struggled a little bit so I'm doing everything I can to keep her alive and keep her well um, look out for my next couple of videos um, again if you haven't already seen it which I don't think you will at this point but I will give you an update on the first uh, my main Pennsylvanicus colony and then my Castaneus colony um, and hopefully that's in the next month or uh, I want to do a video at least once a month so if you have any questions put them in the comments I hope you guys enjoyed I know I haven't seen you in a while but I hope everyone's doing well I appreciate every single one of you. Um, we have right around 50 subscribers now, so that's wonderful. If you give me a thumbs up, um, that would be great too. kind of helps everyone find my videos. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Take care. Hey, s &E Ants here. If you enjoyed this video, check out this recent upload of this recommended video. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button in the middle of the screen. And if you like what you just watched, hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. If you have any other suggestions or ideas, comment down below. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.